What's up, guys? Let's make sure this stream is healthy. Not dropping frames. Alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, let's... Let's check out our sales here, Good see if we've sold anything. Oh, yeah. I think we have. Uh, how much room do we have? Uh, quite a bit. Let's see here. Let's sell a necklace. 144. Looks good. List item. Uh, 144. Yeah. A little bit of lag there, apparently. 234. Oh man, we can sell that for that much. I'm all about it. 144. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Let's sell these runes. Um, yeah, 80s are alright, I guess. I'm not real experienced with this market, but I don't know. Been selling things quite often, so it seems to be working out for me. I heard ten more walk was full of Let's see if we can research anything real fast. Yep, looks good. Ten days. Oh man, that's going to take a while. All right. Well, what? Oh, all research. Dang, my stuff must have been uh, long-term researching. There. Our bags are looking good, so we're not in bad shape there. Research, yep. We got two slots. Training, yep. That'll work. Precise, ooh, nope. Don't want to research those. Let's go over to the armor. Got a couple of helmets, infused, reinforced, infused. Oh, nope, not that one. No, not that one. All right, let's look at some uh, some belts. Yeah, that'd be a good one. All right, so pretty happy with that. Woodworking station. Oh, we got two slots to research here. Charged. Yep. It's a good one to do. Oh, I don't have any more stuff to research on my... Alright, alright, alright. That means that we need to do some dungeons. Get some gear. So I can research. So how are you guys doing today? Notifications. Ah, I need to drop that guild, I think. Who my friends are on. Oh, Lone Drow. That guy is an amazing tank. Amazing tank. Alright. Uh, nice. Selling lots of stuff. Hey, Gildy's just quick note as I received an email asking an important question. It, at least it is to me. That's me to say, can I ask random people for a guild dungeon quest from me? Uh, okay. Um, let's see here. Here are some examples of our current needs. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be donating. I would if I wasn't selling much, but basically they want you to donate if you're not selling very much on the, uh, the trade. And of course I'm selling quite a bit. Will you play, will you be playing Rift Prime? What's up, Matt? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, it depends on if Tryon wants me to, but, uh, you know that will be a factor but another big factor would be what all is in um, Rift Prime you know uh, 
the thing is, is that they're at, uh, they're still talking about uh, features that they're going to be adding to it. So, I mean, nothing is like set in stone just yet. I imagine it's kind of near the end of the uh, adding process, though, because they're um, they're they're basically getting close to release time. So, I mean, what all would they put in last minute, uh, or what all could they put in last minute? I'm not too sure. But uh, a big thing with me would be PvP changes, and um, I don't know if they're doing much for PvP changes. That's the downside, is uh, they're talking about um, like doing like uh, an additional warfront and stuff like that. But what I want is I want PvP gear back. I, I want to be able to grind PvP and not have PvEers be able to come in and just face roll everybody because they did tier one rating in the new content. You know that that's completely ridiculous to me, and. I'm not a supporter of it. And Scott Hartsman, you know, he's pretty much running Tryon right now. And um, he, he posted about uh, Rift Prime and uh, was talking about all the good features and all that good stuff. And I tweeted at him and said, man, you, you've got to, I mean, if you're going to do an experiment like this, put in... The PvP changes that PvPers want. Bring back PvP gear. I mean, like that's why Noobzilla left the game. Uh, it's pretty much why I left the game. You know, just stuff like that is that you're completely destroying the PvP genre in the game, and that's what I what I loved about Rift. And I don't know, man. I mean, whenever I, I tweeted that, he didn't even bother to reply to me. He didn't acknowledge it in any way. So. I have to think that they're not going to do it. They're not going to uh, fix PvP like where the time to kill is so short. Uh, where some uh, now in Storm Legion time, uh, I could go up to somebody and there was so much strategy to it. I would go up to somebody and I could hit them and hit them and stuff, and they wouldn't bother to heal up right off the bat. Well, once I got them about half health, where I think they're about to start healing themselves. That's whenever I burst, boom, hit all my cooldowns, blow them up, try to finish them off. You know, uh, as I've been told right now is the case, and all throughout Nightmare Tide pretty much was you could basically walk up and uh, you could just hit your, uh, your burst macro and throw everything at somebody and blow them up from absolute full health to dead. Uh, and there's no, re there's no retaliation to that. Uh, it takes all the strategy out of PvP. Uh, I, I'm so big on uh, like strategy, movement, being able to like whenever you see something happening, being able to retaliate and stuff. Whenever somebody can just come up and hit a burst macro and kill you from full health to dead, there's no retaliation to it, and it's absolutely ridiculous. And then, like I said, the PvP gear is such a huge thing for. Uh, old time PvPers like myself, you know, uh, I think it's absolutely atrocious to have it to where PvE players can just do tier one rating and come in and already be bolstered down, uh, you know, to the PvP cap. That's crazy. They said this, uh, PvE focused and the next experiment would be PvP. But that, what's that, a year from now? You know, uh, you're looking at, yeah, they said that this progression server would go for about a year before it's wiped. So, I mean, wh what are we going to wait, a year for the PvP stuff to come in? For uh, a Rift Prime to experiment with PvP? I don't know, man. I, I would love for the game to be better than what it is. Um... I think it's a wonderful game overall. Uh, I, you know, uh, people might have their opinions of trying. I think it's a great company. I think it's something that uh, it's a company that's trying to do what is best. Um, do they hit the the nail on the head every time? No, no. But 
then again, they're learning, they're trying to uh, make changes as they go along, but man, I mean, how can you take away what all the PVPers like and then never put it back in? I know that they're trying to uh, like commit to these changes as in give it the best, uh, best attempt that they can let it you know sit in the game for a while you know or, and they might bring back pvp armor and stuff uh after they see how it pans out the thing is is that these changes they take so long and the experiments are uh so uh i Whenever you put in so much work into a big change like combining all armor where uh, everybody is basically on the same playing field, it's not PvE armor, it's not PvE, uh, you got to let it sit in the game for a long time and see how it pans out. See if it all becomes a wash where everybody accepts it. Um, but this is, this is a failed one, man. Um, and it might just be failed with me and other hardcore PVPers. It, it might be something that they're looking at the stats and seeing that uh, more people are doing PVP. Or, or a higher percentage of the population is doing PVP. It might not be more people because more people might have left the game or something. But a higher percentage of people might be pouring into PVP now that PVEers can jump in with no work. You know, that, that might be what's going on. I don't know. I just think it sucks. <laughs> uh, it sucks so bad. But, you know, people often ask me, you know, why do I keep on talking about Rift? It's because I love Rift. I, I, I've always loved the game. Uh, I would love it to be back to where it was enjoyable. I gotta get another writ over here. Then we'll start doing some pledges. And you know, I, uh, people have been asking me if I'll ever go back to Rift and everything like that. And it's like, I've, I've never like said that I wouldn't go back. It, it's completely about making the game fun again. I mean, if Tryon really wanted to uh, bring people like me back, make the changes that the players want, and then, um, and then lo and behold, you know, you'll have Grim back making, you know, videos multiple times a week and everything. But there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's going on with Tryon right now that uh, it's kind of a waiting process. We we. Uh, I mean, I know a little bit of the behind the scenes, but I don't know a lot. And so uh, a lot of what I say may be speculation. Um, but right now they're also working. Oh, I don't know why I entered in there again. I need to look at what I need to make. Um, but a lot of what uh, is going on at Tron is they're uh, hiring a whole new marketing department. Um, one of the, the number one guys for me was... Uh, was one of the marketing guys that he was a big grim supporter he was always trying to get me involved with everything and he was super awesome he was one of those people that messaged me here and there i mean added me on facebook and everything was going hey what all uh, what all do you need what what do we need to make this project work or whatever and he would tell me about my videos okay well you should do this with it you know to improve the visibility of things and all that and it's like wow this this guy's awesome man well, he was one of the guys laid off once Nightmare, uh, once uh, the uh, the latest expansion came out, you know, and uh, so about a year ago he got laid off, and then uh, they lost their other marketing people. Um, they got, as you know, like people like Ocho kind of left the company and went to. Uh, you know their own projects I need to message Ocho and see what he's up to today uh, see what what projects he's working on what all he's got going on because I'm, I'm curious I wonder how good he's doing uh, hopefully he's being very successful in whatever he moved on to um, but uh, they also lost uh, another, like their other main marketing guy 
and uh, so otherwise their marketing department is pretty much non-existing at, at the moment and they're hiring more of them so for a lot of the stuff that I want to do I want to be able to message them and say what do you guys want me to make content on and uh, you know for them to give me some kind of direction you know and uh, I can come up with my own stuff but I would like to promote what they would like me to promote because I like the company. I want the company to do well. Um, I want their games to do well. Uh, but, you know, right now I don't have anybody to ask that question of because everybody in the marketing department is gone. You know, as far as hit honchos type of, type of thing. Alright, so... What, what, what was the material we needed? Oh, normal rubedo leather. Okay, so that means we gotta go down here, and then there we go. Normal rubedo. We need bracers, didn't we? And then what else did we need? So bracers, arm cops, and helmet. So there's helmet. Running out materials. Arm cops. Getting materials for all this stuff has been a huge hassle for me. <laughs> I haven't been able to find, like, uh, well, been able to afford a lot of it, put it that way. Like, my gold is running thin. Uh, two ash bows and uh, a shield. Alright, I don't know if I have the materials for this. I got 41. Okay, I, I think I got enough. Two ash bows. And a shield. Wow. Three wood left over. Alright, let's go turn in this stuff. So what's your thoughts on it all? Oh, what do you think about Rift Prime? Love to know what you guys think about Rift Prime. Let's go ahead and open up some of this stuff. See if we get any good. Yeah, right there, legendary ingredient. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Ah, uh, none on that one. Boo. Alright, come on. Boom. Yep. Got some wax. Nice. And also, a cl uh, clothier uh, survey. An alicare. Nice. That was, an, that was a good one. Alright, let's open up the um, shipments. Void stone ingots. Need those. Alright, let's go uh, refresh our our pledges here. Makes me want to log on to some rift. <laughs> I think my name is gone. I think they retired my name. You know how they did the, the purge of names? I don't think my name is, was saved. So, somebody might be walking around as Grimmick right now. I might be, I might be a completely different name once I go back to the game. I'd love for them to give me the name Grim. That would be great. Tron, if you watch this video, give me Grim. Give me my name Grim. That, that would make me very happy.
And some, uh, you know, I, I get kind of carried away with my, my talking points here. But um, something that I've been thinking about is, you know, uh, you got people like Seton and even Noobzilla and all them. They're making mobile game videos now. And Seton's like over 100,000 subscribers now. The guy's just really doing well once he went to a, a mobile game and started making three videos a day on it. And uh, he's kind of got the perfect setup. The guy has like, he's still living at his parents' house since he's like a, you know, 20, 22 year old or whatever he is. And uh, so he made a recording studio, uh, like almost like a shed in, in his parents' garden. And so basically the man has no bills. He's able to dedicate tons of time to making videos, and it, it's a perfect recipe for being uh, being able to commit to something like this. Because um, whether you live stream or make videos, it takes a lot of time. I mean, you in order to be successful, you usually have to put a lot of time into it. And uh, for people that have families or normal job or something like that, it's hard to commit that time. Um, but he's kind of got the unique setup to where he can he can do it all and uh so so he's blowing up and then noobzilla is making mobile game videos as well you know these are all my my riff buddies you know that all went on to other things uh and i, I was sitting there thinking you know i can make mobile games i mean i, I i've got the um the uh i'm playing lineage 2 i mean i'm in the number one guild on my server is like the the top 10 guild on the entire global market all the servers my guild is in the top 10 i mean we're just absolutely crushing it and i could hit this game as hardcore as i wanted because it's a mobile game i can play it anytime kind of thing and i can make videos about it well the thing is is that um well, I want to uh, see where the pledges are right now. One second. Okay, so the pledges right now are the Elden Hollow 2, Ballenfell, and Cradle of Shadows. Alright, so it's none of these, so I need to drop all these. But, uh, these guys are making mobile games and stuff like that, but it got me thinking that I could do that too, but... You know, is that my place? I mean, it, I like these small games. I like playing like Rift and stuff like that. Now, I mean, Elder Scrolls here is a bigger game, but I'm kind of a newbie at it. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to learn it all the time. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe it's just my place to keep making Rift content or something. If, if worse than you know, smell. the people want to see Hollow. me make Rift Danger content, and if I'm enjoying Rift, as the in they, they fix some stuff, the soil. man, Danger maybe, maybe that's what I need to be doing. Uh, uh, I, I, can, I can make the videos on, you know, and enjoy myself and stuff, and don't have to be this huge YouTuber. Um, but they got to, they got to fix the game, man. They gotta make it more enjoyable for PvPers. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Hard to say. Alright, let's queue up for a random dungeon right now and hopefully we get a, a pledge dungeon. Oh, there we go. Popping already. Honestly, I think they want to see Rift because you haven't made an effort to distance yourself from Rift. Your whole channel screams Rift. 
even though you uh, make great ESO content. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right about that. Uh, the oh well, to uh, give you guys a little bit of an idea, let me see here. Um, like I've been waiting on uh, like the Lord Warden rules summary execution. One second. Let me eat some food before I make a noob out of myself here. Alright, so, um, I've been waiting on some, uh, like, graphics and stuff to be made for Elder Scrolls and all that. And, uh, this is one of the graphics, hopefully you guys can see it, that, uh, somebody made for me. Which, uh... Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good with the uh, Elder Scrolls theme and everything. The problem is, is that <laughs> got uh, got the YouTube channel wrong, got the uh, the Twitch channel wrong, you know, stuff like that. But this is uh, some uh, graphics that was made by me by a viewer, uh, made for me by a viewer, which was very cool. Oh, I better get my butt up here. But yeah. Oh, we're in the Imperial Prison. Hey, not one of the uh the pledges, I don't guess. So as an ESO viewer, I see your video, but the channel name is Gaming Rip. Yep. Break free. Seems like we got a good group here. And check out. Oh yeah, a bunch of 720 guys. Oh man. Let's get my damage buff up. Smash into this guy. Dated since the Dragon Bone patch, so it's not showing up on my screen. Uh, I went in and disabled all outdated uh, add-ons because they were messing up my, my uh, merchant add-ons and stuff like that. I mean, everything was getting messed up with outdated add-ons. Yes, it is. I did a very good job on it. This guy corrects some of the minor errors and stuff. Which, um, one of the things I wanted to mention was why I haven't been doing the video a day like I, I had originally planned. Um, it's pretty much uh, because my life got very busy all of a sudden. Um, I, uh, I've been taking part in, uh, like, helping uh, needy people that, uh, like, with food and stuff like that. I've been helping out at pantries and stuff like that. And also my normal work and all that. So, I've been 
pretty busy with that stuff. Um, whenever, whenever it comes time to do a video, all of a sudden, you know, I'm running out of time and I'm just like, ah, I need some sleep instead. So a lot of times I haven't been able to make the videos and hopefully I get to make plenty more coming up. But yeah, that's why I haven't been doing the video a day like I originally planned is all of a sudden I was helping out at pantries and stuff and giving food to the needy and all that so I mean hopefully hopefully everybody sees that as a good guys. <laughs> But yeah, uh, instead of a video a day, I guess I guess I'm just gonna have to like try to um, make videos on the weekends and like schedule them out throughout the week or something. That might be what I just need to do. But what kind of makes me laugh is uh, in in the videos I make, like I'm like, hey, this is the best way to do pledges or something like that. And I'll make a video like that and people are like, actually, what you said was a little bit off. The, you know, this or this is uh, not absolutely correct. And I'm like, dang it. And I, I always got to say something that's a little bit off on my videos and, you know, getting it a little bit wrong. And I like being a perfectionist with the stuff. I like to be able to give all correct information. So whenever I say a little bit something that is wrong, kind of eat that man. Oh, this is... Okay. Dang it. I forgot about this. It's been a while since I've done this particular dungeon, so I was kind of kind of in the dark on what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, boom. terrible at this target practice. This is why I don't play shooter. Shooter games. I'm absolutely atrocious at them. The Grave Light Sentry is all that remains between uh. us and the Warden. But yeah, I've been uh, working the normal job and also uh, helping out at pantries and stuff, so it's been eating up a lot of my time. Um, whenever it came down to it, I was like, I'm supposed to be making a video every day, but this is for a really good reason not to 
uh, be able to do it every day. So um, try to do it them and just try to do them as I can. Maybe I won't be the biggest ESO YouTuber once I fully commit to it or anything, but hey, you know I, I'll do what I can. At this point, it's got to be a side gig for me anyway, you know, the YouTube stuff. So. I'm free. Well, I'm getting the random out of the way here with the ran random dungeon, but now I've got to kill the whole pledges after this. But they should pop fast because it's the current day plays, it's the weekend. Everything should go pretty good. Has anybody seen Black Panther yet? I am really wanting to see that. Might be a little safe today. Not sure. I like my Star Wars and uh, comic book movies, so those two genres are really appealing to me. There is no escape from this place. How far are you from Max CP? Oh man, a long ways away. Um, I haven't been able to do even my daily dungeon every single day, you know, where you pretty much get the three CP, you know, just for the random for the day. I haven't even done those every single day. Um, I think I'm at like 200 and something right now. Two hundred and ten. I got a ways to go. Now, if I was hitting this hardcore like I like I normally do games, whenever I commit a lot of time to, man, I, I'd be I'd be max CP so fast, but I just haven't had the time. Because generally, whenever I play games, I play the crush. Still learning this one, still grinding it out. The Lord Warden will adore your innards on a plate! Is it as good as everybody's saying it is? Everybody's saying it's a really good movie. A solid eight out of ten. The intruders are coming, Lord Warden. As in it is amazing as I thought it was. We're getting ready. Might be one of 
things that we can just focus on the bottom of the I don't know. Then you know that he knocks me back too as I pop my own. Good fight, good fight. Not perfect, but very good. The pacing was on, very odd at certain points. Which held it back for me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, pacing is a very important part of the move, that's for sure. Getting a lot of acclaim, that's for sure. Somebody told me Nightblade would be a good option. Um, but, I don't know. I, I'm trying to decide if I want to start a second character or not. Playing uh, something else seems like it'd be really cool too. I'm not getting tired of this class at all. But, you know, playing something else would be fun too. And especially since, like, all the CP kind of pulls up into, you know, all a collective pool rather than uh, individual to each character. Thought about Warden too. Warden, you know, being the new class, that might be kind of cool. No Dragonite is uh, very good for PvP, which is, of course, the main focus for me, but. Easy to one a one VX and great for clips. It's also a good switch from what you're playing. 
That sounds pretty good to me. Some burst. Shield stacking and burst. Oh, I'm starting to think we're about to wipe. Heck yeah, man. Woo! No losing for this team. Yeah, most likely swords have a frag that can have some kind of two shot people. Two shot people, uh, they have spells that they can, that they time to blow up. All at once to deal massive damage. Oh man, sounds pretty cool. <laughs> they, they also they also have insane um, mobility as they can zoom around the map with streaks. If you've seen a lightning spark and when the player flies to a different area, it was streak. Ah, yep. Much like uh, in World of Warcraft, the blink ability. Yep. The warden is your final obstacle. You'll find him ahead. You know exactly what you're talking about. This the last boss. I did this one on Vet, and man, it was so hard for us to survive on Vet, man. So difficult. We basically had a tank that was just carrying us the entire way, man. He's, he'd be the only one left alive, and he'd go around and res everybody. Everybody would die again. He would go around resing everybody again. So, Oh, 
Three champ points. Put me at 214. Ooh, look at these glyphs. I might need to mark them up a little bit more. I think the suggested price is like, I don't know, like 50 to 80 or something like that. So for me to have them listed at 80 and it's selling, it's pretty awesome. That was a great group to be in. Uh, let's see. Also, they this goes back to other games. If you enjoy PvP, I'd suggest Black Desert Online just to try. The game is 90% PvP with vast life skilling system. The only downside is a grind fest. But coming from Rift, uh, me and you both know that anything is possible. <laughs> Oh, Black Desert Online. People keep on telling me to try that. I need to do it. Need to do it, man. Need to do it. Uh, there was another um, Riff live streamer that uh, he he was a very small live streamer uh, live streamer on on Rift, and I got at the point where I was trying to support everybody else that was making Rift content, so. I would pop into his live stream, like whenever he was live streaming, as well as other people, and I would say, hey man, keep up the good work, you know, I think you're doing a wonderful job, and I might throw somebody five, ten dollars or something like that in donations, you know, just to keep them going, and uh, Tryon was also nice enough to give me some, uh, at that time, you know, whenever they were supporting me a little bit more, they were giving me uh, some game time codes to give away to give people patron time and it could be anything from free uh, three day codes to 15 to 30 day codes on some of them well some of these live streamers i'd pop into their live stream and go hey man here's a 30 day patron uh code or three day or whatever do a giveaway with it man uh, or else use it for yourself and uh, just basically was trying to support him. Well, one of those guys, he went on to play Black Desert Online. And he's a big grinder on that game. I, every time I tune into his live stream, he's always like, Grim! You know, he sees me as soon as I come in. I don't even have to say anything. He's watching, like, the the viewer list or whatever. And he sees me, and he, he's always so cool, man. And uh, But here he was getting, like, three people watching him on Rift. Well, now he's been grinding on Black Desert for a while, and he gets like 100 people watching him now, like over 100. Uh, every time I, I tune into his live stream, he's always got between 100 and 150 people watching him. And he's always running around grinding. He, he's like going around nuking like this mob, goes over here, nukes this mob, and just does a rotation, you know. I guess he's grinding money or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Uh I think he's doing an awesome job and, and seeing him have success you know makes me want to play it too so I think I'm going to um, message the the people from Black Desert Online and see if they might uh, hook me up with a, a game code or something maybe I can get into it make some content for them maybe Uh, and yeah, anything that touches the game gets a bunch of views, viewers. If you ever play it, uh, I can get you into a guild and help you understand the game as it is very steep uh, and 
help you get gear. Oh man. You got me wanting to play it, man. <laughs> oh, you got me wanting to play it. Matter of fact, let's queue up for these dungeons and I am going to uh, look at Black Desert Online's website and see if I can't figure out uh, who to contact with them. Um, let me let me see what uh, dungeons I need to queue up for real fast. Need Elden Elden Hollow 2. We need uh, Volenfell. I don't even think I've done Volenfell before. That, be, that might be one that I need to get a quest for. And then Cradle of Shadows. I've done that lots of times. Never very good at the last boss, but I, I, do, the, I do that one quite often. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Black Desert Online. Something that I got to ask: Where is uh, Black Desert Online uh, made from? Is it like a, a, a U.S. game? Is it a um, a Korean-based game? Looking at the artwork, it looks like it's uh, like the uh, kind of theme towards the Asian market you know how all the characters have the big eyes and stuff like that they 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 love the the uh, that kind of artwork okay let's see uh, I wish I knew one of the guys that was, um, I wish I knew one of the guys that was associated with Black Desert Online. Uh, you know, since I got to know a lot of the Rift people, um, you know, to be able to contact like a community manager or something for Black Desert Online and say, hey man, could you hook me up with a copy? That would, uh, that would make things a lot easier. Okay. Let's make an account on here. I don't even think I have an account. So. Hmm. Well, it might have to be something that I do off the stream. Doesn't look like it's going to be an easy way to get a hold of them. I don't know. Don't know. Oh well. Uh, okay. Uh, the the community is insane, man. You'd really like it. The game's only ten dollars, and oh boy, once you get into some PvP, you'll be hooked. There's downsides to the game, but the feeling of running into a guild and fighting them yourself and winning is so fun. You just gotta be able to grind or set a life skilling empire, or or set up a life life skilling empire. It's an Asian MMO. The biggest streamer who also does YouTube name is Lakari. If you want a sense of the amount of uh, memes that are in this game, man, uh, I just look up his videos on time. Okay, let's look him up. Let's check this dude out. Here is the man, Akari, 
big damage. Mountain Dew Doritos. He's got 11,000 subscribers. Is this the guy? Oh, he uh, is he a live streamer or a YouTuber? Because this uh, YouTube page like doesn't have a lot of videos on it. It's got like a video, uh, two videos from a week ago, and then one month ago, one month ago, four months ago. Let's see. Oh yeah, it must be him. So I'm assuming he's more of a live streamer. Okay. Yep. Uh, his in entire uh, YouTube Black Desert Online wise revolves around his guild and of course he is the leader of the strongest guild in North America. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wonder if they can handle the grim. <laughs> if I was a hardcore player, man. If I can play anything hardcore, man, I, I'm I'm always a force. The thing is, is do I have the time to hardcore anything right now? It'd be different if I, I was like doing it as a job, man, like I was not too long ago with Rift. But now I got a different job and it's hard to commit to hardcore and anything anymore. Yeah, at one time I was a full-time YouTuber. Those days have faded. <laughs> I'm surprised the dungeons aren't popping a lot faster because at, um, it being a weekend and doing the pledge dungeons you'd think they'd pop really fast life of a DPS or I guess okay if I do black desert online what class should I play I mean what how's the game work is there classes is there um, stuff like that I'm not sure how it all works uh, if you hardcore Black Desert, you would be insanely geared as a full-time streamer. Uh, or as Black Desert Online is huge on Twitch. Ooh, is it? Is it? Let's check out Twitch right now. You got me wondering. Twitch.tv. Black Desert. Online. Oh, come on. All right, I'm following Black Desert Online, the uh, the game title. Let's see if I can pop up any streams. Okay, here we go. We got Nico has 815 viewers. Uh, let's see, 451 below that. 
that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this. This ain't even the ba the biggest streamer, I guess, and he's got 815. Not bad, not bad. A little bit impressed. Hmm. I'm going to check this stuff out whenever I'm offline. Playing casual, you will still get geared. It just takes uh, understanding of the game and its mechanics and not wanting to re-roll every month like I do. <laughs> oh, the curse of wanting to re-roll. I know exactly what you mean. I mean, even on uh, Elder Scrolls here, I, man, I've re-rolled so many times. and It's because every time I learn something, I start going... I made mistakes, man. I need to redistribute my points and all that. And then it turns out that, you know, a little bit later on, I feel like I've learned something new and I need to redistribute my points once again. Uh, I'd most likely be playing if the servers weren't taking a dumpster right now. The way classes work is there is top tier OP classes, then it goes down the tier list. Wise goes. Uh, by the way, if you have Discord, my name is Mary. Yeah, uh, I have Discord. Yes, I do. Let's see here. Uh, let me change around my stream settings here a little bit. Uh, whoops. Okay, that should make things a little bit better. All right, so. Alright, there's my Discord. Discord window. Man, these dungeons still haven't popped. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. As soon as I, I say that. All right, just sent you a friend request on Discord. But tier list is wizard, witch, mystic, warrior as the top tiers, mid tiers, uh, or toss up. But Black Desert is majorly a play. What's fun as any class with gear is a force. Also, there is no trading gear in Black Desert, uh, but your armor and accessories transfer over to characters, so re rolling doesn't completely screw you. Hmm. 
Interesting, interesting. Getting me really hyped up, man. Making me want to play. Shh. Yeah, I've never done this dungeon. No, I don't know any mechanics. No! Oh, this is going to be terrible. Okay, let's try to find the quest. Oh. Oh. Darn. That worked out much well, you just only thing I can. It's an H is what I look at. Okay. These guys are all running ahead wondering why I'm not catching up probably. Did I did I pass up my quest stuff? No, okay, we're going through, right? Okay. YouTube-wise, on Black Desert, uh, though there is a YouTuber that gains a lot of traction recently and following. It's 4K stuff, but it has only been posted for around a month and gets 10,000 plus views. 10,000 plus views? Who is that dude? Here it is. Power before the Rod of Kravari. Time for a different approach. Awaken, my darling. Quit looking at me, boss. Excuse me if I don't Fair present enough. his. We have a Let's way. Go. go on ahead. I think our time will be better. Are you Come now. Persuade you. Alright, good deal, good deal. Me doing this quest, man. These, these guys are running so far ahead of me. <laughs> And you're getting me pumped up about Black Desert Online, man. I fell through the map, never done the quest before. Would appreciate if someone stayed after with me because last time I got ditched, I didn't I'm doing the quest too, man. I don't get ditched, though. People might run ahead, but I don't get ditched. up something that I'm needing to give for quest? No. Okay. Hopefully not. Oh. 
little bit of damage. I had my max health down to like 9k. That was not pleasurable. Review my nerve. Almost definitely. My crew and I are collect. I do a little bit of. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Huge wars with the game. Huge wars with the game. Your PvP is still one of the best. Yeah, I'm liking the PvP so far, but right now I'm still at the point where I get one shot. <laughs> Hopefully that'll change. I think straight up this down. And I just died. Oh crap. Alright. Don't step on the scene apparently. <laughs> Multiple of us died. <laughs> Three of the group died. Because of steam on the ground. Oh, those one shot mechanics. Black Desert Online Wars. Wars are close though. Uh, there is a top tier guild. It's a top tier guild uh, called Snake who did a four hour castle defense. Where they racked up close to 5,000 kills. Shoot. That is pretty awesome. That's a lot of fighting, man. The CP grind as hell. Pokey Pokey at a two. Very nice, very nice. Alright, something tells me I gotta talk to somebody right over here. No? No? Oh, there she is. I came here for my reason. Probably. I can't believe the Guardian in a chamber court. Alright, there we go. Hidden behind something. That's an easy way to mess up this whole quest. Somebody hides behind a block. Sure, there's some kind of mechanic with this that I have no clue about. 
I tried going into a RIP uh, live stream Q&A the other day asking if they'd uh, give more promotion to the game as it would make a comeback, but the devs just ignored it. They just seemed so out of touch. Well, the thing is, is the devs don't make those calls. So, I mean, it, and they don't want to step on any toes either. They don't want to comment on something that they don't, it's not their place on. So, I mean, even if you're talking to somebody like Brass, Brass has a lot of pull on, uh, on Rift, but, you know, she, a lot of things are out of her control. She doesn't handle the money on things. She can't say, hey, we're going to put money into this. Uh, that's where the marketing people come in, and like I said, Rift is currently without a marketing team right now. They're hiring for it. So yeah, it's in a bad spot. No idea what you want to fight here. This one just fell on. I saw everybody in the field. Activity complete. Ah, got this dungeon done. Yeah, that's that's a big thing with uh, these games and stuff, man. You, you can say something to a developer and go, you guys need to do this. And you feel like this person should have some pull on it. But they might not have any pull at all. And they don't want to say anything to step on any toes either. Because that is their job. If they go, yeah, we need to promote more. Then that puts the company in a bad spot to where they're like okay this dev that just said something planned. to the players now the players are going to take it to heart and we don't have a marketing team right now or something you know get out of here oh. follow Soraya. i'll cover your snake what is going on here That was kind of interesting. The eye was within my head and in my head. I can't believe the eye is after what I just... That's kind of rough. If everybody would have left the group here, man, I wouldn't have been able to finish this because it would have kicked me out. Huh. There goes another champ point. Another champ point for the, for the champ. Undaunted trophy. Oh yeah. Selling things. Making that money, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, let's see. I love the game so much as the PvP is still my favorite and I genuinely care about the world but I can't play it at this state. I don't feel like feeling alone in an MMO. I, I know exactly what you mean man. Uh, they're, they're, uh, the state of the PvP in it is not enjoyable. I mean I haven't played it in a while but everybody tells me it's pretty much the same as you know where the time to kill is too low. There's no strategy in PvP. PvP gear is still gone, so that means that PvEers and Tier 1 raid gear were, are still able to come in and get bolstered down and destroy hardcore PvPers. You know that? That's not cool to me, man. Have you returned from your ex- And was it- Then take what you are owed. Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right. So we got Bolenfell done. Let's queue up for the next dungeon. Let's see, Elden Root or Elden Hollow Two. 
And Cradle of Shadows. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, Tron games in general are going downhill, though. Trove, Rift, Arc Age. Sad because even with their bad rep, they were one of my favorites. Racking up uh, them points. <laughs> yeah. I am racking up some points. Um, the thing is, is. I think Trove is doing better than a lot of people are giving it credit for. I don't know that for certain. I'm kind of talking out of my backside on it. But, I mean, uh, like, big websites like MMORPG.com and all them are calling Trove the only real original game out right now. Original MMO. And uh, Trove is also catering towards a... Um, a uh, a younger play ba a player base, which is like, that spells success in the gaming market. Whenever you can get uh, y younger kids to play your game, that's a very, very good thing. Um, if you look at like YouTubers and stuff that do trove content, they all got a bunch of subscribers. I mean, like there's a dude named Scythe Plays that he, he has over 150,000 subscribers right now or something like that. I mean, you know, that's a that's a very successful person for a try-on game. Arc Age, uh, whenever I whenever I knew the marketing people behind uh, Rift and all that, uh, the marketing people were pretty upfront to say that Arc Age was was a juggernaut of a game. You know, as in it was doing really well. So uh, I don't know. I mean, it it might be one of those things that we just we don't have all the info on so it's hard to make decisions on that as far as rift i do feel like rift has went down a lot um of course defiance defiance has barely any following no matter how fun that game is oh my gosh defiance is so fun i wish it had more players because i and i'm terrible at shooters but this is a shooter type of game that is more friendly towards an mmo player and it's so fun man the thing is, is hardly anybody plays it, and uh, of course their uh, other game, you know, they just canceled. Um, what was it? Uh, what is? What What was the uh, Diablo style game that they were uh, doing? That wasn't. That was just a a, uh, a contracted game for them, just like Arc Age. But, uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't think of it right now. Just mind blank. I mean, I played it quite a bit. Uh, oh, well. If you think of the name, you know, let me know. <laughs> but that was a pretty fun game, too. But, uh, I guess... It just was doing too bad, not, not doing well enough. And that's kind of the curse of a lot of games that are contracted right now. Uh, take for instance, Terra, uh, Arc Age, um, the other game that I can't think of the name of. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. But those type of games, they're, they're just contracted where uh, uh, the developers aren't trying. It's, it, they're just, Basically, trying is just taking care of the translation of it, uh, making it into an English game, and also, uh, like a lot of times, they take care of the, the payment side of things, like setting the payment system up to a Western market. And so they don't have a lot of control on that stuff. They, they can go to uh, the developers of that company and go, hey, the Western market would really like it if uh you know whatever you know this wasn't such a long grind in this particular area or something and the asian developers might go we don't agree or that isn't worth the effort or whatever you know and decide not to change it and you know what can you do at that point i think arc age is doing decently well though i mean because they've They've promoted people in uh, Tryon to uh, be higher up in uh, Arcage now. 
If you remember that uh, community manager, Serafina, uh, she she's uh, you know higher up in the rankings now too. She she got promoted as a higher place in uh, you know management of Arcage for Tryon. So it, it's hard to imagine that they would be promoting people if the game wasn't doing pretty good. Speaking of those uh, style of games, Albion Online was a surprise and dead to me. The beta was super fun, a bunch of players, but a few months after release, the game isn't big at all. The game isn't bad, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, some good games just don't get the player base like you would hope they would. Uh, like I said, Defiance, man. Defiance is so fun to me. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. But hardly anybody plays it. The good side of it is, is that is a game that is made by Tryon. It's not just contracted, so you don't think that it would be just outright canceled like, uh, like they did that other game that I can't think of the name of it. Whenever they just outright cancel it, you know that's how they're controlled. That's that's what the Asian developer is, uh, the Asian developing company that runs it. You know they they determine whether it gets canceled or not. Yep, yeah, but so far Tryon hasn't canceled any games of theirs, you know, no matter how small it gets, like Defiance. So you got to wonder if uh, they'll just be able to uh, take care of that as long as they want. But um, another game that's coming out uh, relatively soon, it's coming out in beta pretty soon, is Camelot Unchained. And um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of, uh, I mean, I started out in Ultima Online, like the, the first real MMO, you know, the, uh, the one that kind of set the standard for it all. And I played that for a couple years, and then whenever uh, Dark Age Camelot was out, and EverQuest was the big juggernaut right before WoW came out, um, I played Dark Age Camelot, and I played that for years. And that's where I really set in my PvP roots. I mean, I did a lot of PvP in, in uh, Ultima Online, and that's where it was hardcore, man. I mean, you know, you killed people, you took all their armor and weapons and all that. And I ran the number one PvP guild in all of Ultima Online. We had the most wars, we fought the most out of anybody, and we did really well. And uh, so I was the guild leader that I started that guild and it's still going to this day that guild is still a success uh, since I've stepped down and left and everything um, but afterwards I went to Dark Age Camelot and I had a set team every night that I got on with that we knew at whatever time you know 7 p.m. we all got on we had a full team of people and we all ran our group and we uh, went to uh, uh, we went out and fought players uh, as like group versus group combat and we did that for years man and uh, It was so fun having a dedicated group that you knew was going to be on every night like Take for instance if I was on uh, Elder Scrolls online and I had a group that I knew 7 p.m. We would group up like I had it was just enough people to fill up a full group where nobody's thinking Hey man, uh, you know, I don't get in the group tonight or something. No, it was just a set, a set amount of people. And uh, you might have people volunteering to step in if somebody, you know, just couldn't make it or something. But almost always these people made it. And we would go around and fight players every single night. And we were known in that game. Like people knew our group really well. Uh, we went by, I mean, we just called ourselves a Rat Pack because. We, it started out as just a pug group, you know, we just added people as we could, and eventually we got a group of dedicated friends that was always running every night. So, you know, we were the rats out there uh, fighting other players whenever they had like these huge guilds or something and they had their PvP team from their big guild. We were just a pug group that ended up working and we got on every night and played together. But 
you know, and then Camelot Unchained is coming up, which is going to be like the successor for Dark Age Camelot. And uh, they were talking about the the beta is coming up. And I messaged them on Twitter and I said, you guys need me. You need me to make content for your game because I'm a big fan. And uh, they they private messaged me and said, all right, man, we're, we're looking at you. As soon as we're about to do stuff like that, you're definitely at the top of the list like as somebody that we're going to look at. And I said, all right, cool. I said, now you got to realize I'm one of the people that I'm passionate, man. I, I'm passionate about the content I'm making and all that. I said, I might not be one of the big, the big live streamers or the big YouTubers, but here's some of my work. Check it out and know that I'm going to be passionate about your game too because I am hyped up for it. Uh, that's how it is with me and Black Desert Online. Uh, at night, me and a few friends just go causing havoc, having multiple guilds to play war on us. Uh, now there's a battle arena. You can hone your skills and PvP all day. Nice. Ooh, I wish these dungeons would pop, man. Do you know who the community manager for uh, Black Desert Online is? Let me see if I can look it up. Just found some emails for people. Nice. I know who to contact on Black Desert Online. I don't know if these are uh, community managers that are still active, but there's like two of them on here. One named uh, Atheon, Athon, and the other one Serenity. Hmm. 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 Do you have any idea if, uh, which one of those would be the person? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's going on, Capri Sun King? How are you on this fine day? Yo, what's up, Graham? Uh, nothing much, Nero Genie. What are you up to, man? Trying to get these pledges done. Trying to get the uh, get my gear a little bit better. One of these times I got a. Oops. I think I just screwed up. I was hitting buttons. What? Did I leave? No, it's in progress. Okay. Let's travel two player. 
I was just hitting the jump button and all of a sudden it didn't make me enter. Cradle of Shadows. Alright. I hate this dungeon, but <laughs> gotta do what I gotta do. Gotta get these pledges done, yo. Oh no, it's one that's already going. No, I'm not gonna be able to do my pledge, man. Man. Let's see where these dudes are. Okay, behind me. Oh, that's crappy, man. You think Gaethon is uh, one? All right, I'll send him a message just uh, shortly. Say, hook me up, man. Oh, smoke! I was getting uh, damaged too bad. Getting beat up. Oh, my food wore off. Darn it. Eat up, broski. That's why I got nuked so bad. My food wore off. Them dudes down. Oh, that guy's using dragon blood. Look at him. Uh, just hanging around. I haven't been able to grind. I'm hoping a friend getting into the game for a lot of early game stuff. Yeah, I understand. It's good that you're helping people. Red on the ground. Hey, why are you hitting me? What did I do? I do anything you got. There's another champ point. Put another one down for the ring column. Get out of here. Oh, I hate this dungeon. I hate it even more that it's not actually getting my pledge done. What do you want in a classroom? A uh, large uh, Skill viability or a small scale. Oh, oh crap. Um also full burst or sustain with protection. Um I'm one of those people that I like to um usually 
I tend to go with like a DPS warrior usually because I like the uh, mechanics of melee a lot of the time. But I like burst, and I, I like to have uh, some big damage to throw out. Hitting people and watching them heal right in my face is not fun. If you don't do enough damage or enough burst damage to catch people off guard, then PvP can be pretty frustrating. Gosh, look at all this damage I'm getting. Wow. What's going on? That 16k health. This is bad. Sweet meat. Sakhalad receives my blessing even as we speak. Killing him may prove difficult. Tough to use in vigor. Uh, not for uh, not for dungeons and stuff. Uh, I don't put it on my bar unless I mean the healing seems like it's really suffering. Uh, I'd rather go for all damage dealing skills or damage increasing skills. Don't keep me waiting, adventurers. As I've been explained many times, people say you know your job is to do DPS. It's not to heal yourself. Not to tank. You're not. Uh, I mean, if you're not surviving, whenever you have food going, then there's somebody else not doing their job. Unless you're just standing in the red. <laughs> uh, last boss. Yeah. And this is the boss that I actually need the veteran helmet from. Oh man. I don't even know if I want to try this on better. I hate it on normal. Whoa. I see you lurking up there. There we go. Yeah, this has to be probably my least favorite dungeon. This one in the one where uh, I think we need some time apart. the uh, guy makes like shadows of himself and uh, he makes the shadows of himself and he um, uh, like you have to go around like bashing the the uh, the shadows or else they'll insta kill somebody. I don't like that one either. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Whoa. Something. Sure, I'm doing a lot 
of damage with this spider. But I gotta admit that whenever this spider goes up to the roof and drops down and does that instant kill, I never do get the roll right. I'm always one of the people that dies. Stay out, tank. Come on, man. Go kill a spider. and they got the whole group. No! The whole group messed it up. <sighs> Usually there's somebody that gets it right. Oh, that's so terrible. Supper time! What? These guys, man. Maybe I should send some boys. Gotta go the other way, don't we? <laughs> uh, oh, he's starting out terribly. Yeah, Warrior is probably going to be your class. They are insanely strong right now, borderline broken. Berserker or Striker could also be fun for you. Berserker has Axe and Hand Cannon. Warrior, Sword and Shield, and Great Sword, uh, Striker Fist, and Fire Cannon. You should never trust a healer. Yeah. But that's their job, man. That's their job. Come here, sweet meat. Come to Veladreth. Just a taste. Just a taste. Uh, let me 
mechanics uh, that the developers put into ESO dungeons are awesome. It's such a game that can't fall the same idea. Yeah, the, the dungeons on here are really, really fun. I've been having a ball. There are certain ones that I like more than others, but all of them have good mechanics and stuff. I'm really impressed. With it. Going to come back to the Rift for Rift Prime? Uh, I was talking about that earlier. Um, basically, it sounds like Rift Prime is uh, more catered towards PvE players right now. Um, they are introducing the PvP dungeon and all that, but. Oh, let's go, man. What are you doing? But, um. They haven't made the PvP changes to Rift Prime that is going to be enjoyable. There's not PvP gear back. There's and, and I, I've mess I've sent a tweet at Scott Hartsman, at, you know, saying, "Man, put PvP gear back in. You know, make the damages and stuff like Storm Legion was." And he didn't even bother to reply. You know, I I think it's just not something on the on the agenda right now to make PvP better in Rift Prime. So, I mean, is it something that something like me, uh, somebody like me is going to get into? It isn't sounding like it, sadly. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing Rift. Like I said, I'm not against uh, coming back to Rift. But, they got to make an effort towards making PvP better again. I mean, for PvE years to be able to do tier 1 rating and be better geared than all PvP players right off the bat is ridiculous. But, they might see it all as a success right now. There might be a higher percentage of players. Uh, the the PvE content are now doing PvP content as well, so this all might be like a big success for them. Um, for me, being a hardcore PvP here, the changes they've done has been terrible, terrible. But I have faith eventually they'll get it right. I mean, I, I'm a big supporter of Rift. I'm a big supporter of the company, of Crown. I think they they get a bad rap. Um, but I think they're a great company. And I, I like the game, so I hope they'll eventually get it right where people like me would really love to come back. Guys, roll out of this. Uh... Oh! Ah! No, we all died again. Can't get that roll right, and nobody else is either. Why not both? Oh, 
much money. Did you is work it? up an appetite on your way here? Forty three two. That's a lot more than I thought I had. I think those uh, $100 loot boxes kind of sold me on forever disliking Tryon. Yeah, the thing is, is, you know, they've got investors behind it all, so they're trying to make money on it. Um, because you don't want a game to really not be pulling in much money because you want to do bigger and better things for it, too. And the more money you make for it, the more you can do stuff. The more you can do, you know, 64-bit technology. The more you can do uh, hyper-threading. You can do all those things. And, you know, it's a slippery slope, man. When do you go overboard with it? When is people going to get fed up, you know, paying money? Uh, I don't know. I mean, because you got WoW that charges for everything. WoW charges... For buying the game every expansion they charge for oh, membership that you have you. to have Tonight they charge for all these things and you know they're they're the golden company you know they're, they're the ones that get all the support so whenever another company does anything close to that man they get grilled as this money hungry terrible company so I don't know. It's hard to say. Even after the whole Arc Age situation. I did I did a little bit of research on that. You know that uh, the Arc Age situation where they charge for the big, you know, terrible moment of Arc Age whenever they introduced a patch that, you know, charged for all kinds of stuff and everything and really killed the game for people. I read... I researched that a little bit, and I seen that that same patch had been put on the Asian servers for uh, Arcade, and everybody knew about that patch, and everybody was begging Tryon not to put it in. But I guarantee it was something that the the, the main developers, you know, the main company behind Arcade. Uh, why wasn't I getting any heals? What was going on there? I was getting zero heals. But, you know, everybody was telling Tron, don't put in this patch. Don't put in this patch that, uh, you know, is going to charge for all this stuff. And Tron eventually put in the same patch that the Asian servers already had. So you gotta think that that was a patch that they couldn't avoid at the the company that owns the game wanted that patch to go in and charge for things because they had already done it on the Asian servers. So how much of that was really Tryon? Uh, it might be all Tryon. I don't know. I'm not defending them. I'm just like, you know, once I started reading all that stuff, I was like, wait a minute. This is like fishy all around. All right. Healer is dead somewhere. Where is the healer dead? Come on, man. I want to say this is a failed group, but I'm one of them that isn't rolling out of the spider thing. I never do get it right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or what, but... They're getting it wrong, too, and when everybody gets it wrong, it's a bad recipe. Alright, there's the healer. Go down there, man. Come on. Come on. Don't kill me now. I don't have a healer. Oh, they risked me. What the heck? You look good enough to eat. Get banished again. We might be able to salvage this. I love 
<laughs> I don't know which way, man. I don't know. No, not that one. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Alright. Oh. I guess all the way lead to the same place. Okay, there is a spot on the ground. Is that where I'm supposed to stand or something? I was told I needed to roll. Every time I roll, I die. Uh, um, if and over PvP, when most of its content creators mainly play PvP, killed her for me. I'm in the same boat with you there, sir. Everybody survived except for me. Satvalan. Funny meeting you. I think I see now that I gotta stand on that spot. I think. I'm impressed you made it so far. Somebody that knows this fight a little bit more than me could probably give better suggestions on that. I taught you better than that. Alright. I remember uh, people used to complain about five dollars to unlock uh auction house. Well, uh, don't want to be friends with this person. But yeah, the the auction house was kind of a weird thing. Uh, <laughs> people want to be my friend too. Uh, they're thanking me. I don't know what for. Thank you for group. The dark brotherhood. Stay in a little circle. Yep, there you go. Time to see these it. people tell me exactly what I should have known. Know now I know they in do. the future. Now I know. Comes for us all. Uh, the auction house thing was um, what you do not understand is nature. was a, Very a kind of an odd situation to where they considered it kind of a premium thing, but if you like, um, since they had tradable uh, Rexes in the game, it allowed you to unlock the auction house just by, you know, buying one, one uh, Rex with gold in the in the game. So they made it kind of an easy way to unlock auction house without having to pay money. But I see where people could get upset about that. I don't mind people making money, don't get me wrong, but everything is a process though. The fact the $100 loot boxes got approved to the top is what gets me. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Making them reasonable, uh, purchasable content is completely fine. Please take my money. <laughs> for me, I think there is a better way for Rift to make money, but right now, uh, be too late for many people that left the game and it's not too late for me but yeah i understand it would be for a lot of people that have moved on to other games and gotten hooked on other games uh let's see i just don't see where the reason for those hundred dollar loot boxes 
would make any sense from a consumer perspective. It should always be two-way street. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I suggested to uh, try on at one time, and um, I think they kind of was like, yeah, it's a decent idea, but we're probably not going to do it kind of thing, was whenever I played Age of Conan, I was a huge fan of Age of Conan. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, I'm a big Conan fan. So, uh, that was just right up my alley that it was an excellent game on top of, uh, a genre that I liked, you know, uh, a comic book character that I really enjoyed, you know, I mean, true, he started out in short stories and even a book, but, uh, eventually he got real, po uh, Conan got real popular by being in comic books and then movies afterwards. But love the game. Holy smoke, such a great game. And, um, well, on that game, they had packages that you could buy that it would be like, um, it was like a $99 package that you could buy. It would give you a year subscription to the game. It would give you all kinds of goodies. I mean, it might give you a ring that increases XP gain by 5%. Um, it'll give you a, a rideable tiger that was like really fast in the game and just man they just put so many good things all in this hundred dollar package that it was like man I want that hundred dollar package and I bought it every single time and I I was very happy with my purchase every single time you know how many times have you made a purchase in a game that you afterwards you're like that was wasted money. You know, in all actuality, I just wasted my money. I, I've felt that way tons of times about games. In Age of Conan, I loved every single purchase I made. You know, whenever it was those $100 bundles. So I told uh, Tryon, and I said, man, you guys should really do that. You know, it was an excellent idea, and I was very happy with my... I mean, you know, spending the $100 was a bargain just having a year of subscription. And then they threw in all this other stuff like a unique mount and all kinds of stuff like you know if they just gave you another racing snail like in rift if you bought the hundred dollar package you get a year subscription uh patron pass and then you get a snail that everybody has and a few other items that everybody has you know it's not that appealing well put you know a freaking you know nightmare or something you know in, in it you know something that's a unique creature that goes with the hundred dollar package and make it cool you know make it to where everybody wants to buy that package and they they were like ah we do something similar to that so we're probably not going to do it uh one second yes hello what's up yeah Okay. Okay. Love you too. Okay. Alright. Bye. But uh, back on story, um, they... They pretty much was like, we're already doing something similar to that, so don't really, don't really need to do anything else with it. Yeah, I figured it was. Uh, I'm thinking that not only is my mic uh, like connected, but also my webcam is uh, the volume is working on it. I don't know why. I've tried to change it a couple times, but for some reason it still stays hot. Let's see here. Imagine, um, let's see
Yeah. I don't know. I have to fiddle with it sometimes. Try to get it to where it's not picking up my webcam mic. I think that's why my audio uh, is kind of suffering in videos and stuff. Is it's picking up my voice at two different locations rather than being at one. Oh well. I'll get it fixed sometime. Black Desert Online servers are back normal. Praise Nightmare Dive. Uh, what do you use to stream OBS? Yeah, I use OBS. Used to use um, other streaming programs, but they they were all pretty glitchy. They they and also you had to pay for them, so it's pretty nice using OBS and not having to pay for it, and it's not acting up. It's also low resource. I would love a pet to loot for me, even if it was behind a paywall. I've uh, been asking the Rift team for it for a long time. Yeah, see, that's the kind of stuff that would be very cool. And I imagine they could do it without too much effort. You know, I mean, sure, it is something new to program and everything. But these guys know what they're doing. They can program that. So, yeah, I mean, that would be the kind of things, you know, stick it behind a, a $100, you know, annual package and say... You know, if you buy it this year, you'll get this cool pet that will loot for you, get a unique mount and all this stuff, and just watch the people throw $100 down. I mean, it'd be like crazy that they would throw money down all the time. And I did it. I, I did it in Age of Conan and loved every penny I was spending. I guess I gotta queue up again. Ooh. Actually, how long have I been streaming now? Ooh, two and a half hours? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yep. Well, I'm probably gonna call it here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I uh, hope you guys will stick around while I play an ad to hopefully generate a few pennies for uh for it click on the click on the ad if you want to if you want to support the stream even more i really appreciate you guys tuning in you've been awesome been very talkative made it very enjoyable for me to uh chat with you guys uh not sure if you're interested but Streamlabs uh came out with their own beta obs which is leaving all the others in the dust it usually like 25 percent less cpu and the interface is really easy to use let me look that up real fast because i use Streamlabs for all my stuff uh for my uh notifications and everything even though nobody donates to me but i got i got the notifications up and everything if somebody does uh, let's check out. It might be in resources. Hmm, I wonder where it's at. Let's see. Shared access, sponsors. Hmm. You sure it's Streamlabs? Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in looking into that because well, what better way to run a program that's, you know, carrying all the, the notifications and everything that I'm wanting to use anyway, you know, uh, a pet looting for you would be super profitable. BDO has pets that have tiers and are $10 each. Rift could easily implement that and it would be a hit. Yeah, man. Why don't they do this stuff? Uh, they need to hire me as their marketing guy. I'll tell them what to sell. They also have live notifications integrated in the program, so you have everything in one window. Man, see, that that's the way to go right there. Uh, do you have a, like, let, let's try to look up Streamlabs real fast. I, I'm on their page right now because, naturally, I, I run Streamlabs for all my stuff. 
Um, but I'm not seeing their streaming like program or something. Um, does it have a specific name or something? I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing their uh, their tip jar is something that's new. That's why up there there's a tip jar that's absolutely empty. <laughs> nobody nobody do donates to the Grim Man. Uh, Google uh, Streamlabs OBS. I can't send the link on here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll check it out. Yep. 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 All right. I appreciate it, guys. And like I said, I'm about to run a, an ad, so if you want to support the stream a little more, stick around, support the channel, watch the ad, click on the ad, all that good stuff. Alright guys, I appreciate it, and take care.